What's up y'all, Logan Parker, Heirloom Builders, back on the homestead today. We're working on some irrigation. We have a leak in one of these irrigation lines. And I'm about to go drain the line and show you how to fix it. It's pretty simple. Let's do it. Got a cart full of stuff that I'm lugging down there. And I think I got everything I need. Got shovels. Got Billy Jean coming. Here we go. Let's do this, Billy. Hose. I've got one hose here. And I need another one so that I can drain the irrigation line so that when I disconnect the fitting that I need to repair that's charged full of water right now. It doesn't spray all over me. I can drain the line and, and then use this other hose to vent the system and completely drain the water and make the repair without getting soaking wet and muddy. <laughs> At least that's the goal right now. First thing we gotta do is shut off the water. So Woody and I are about to roll down to the low spot and plug in a hose to drain the line and fix this little leak. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of little low spots still we need to fill. I'm gonna drain this right here. plugged in initially just to vent it yeah. all right so there we got a leak we got still i don't know four inches of water in there and like woody said we got a water witness mark at all the way up to the grade which made this trench settle down which works to our advantage now we just kick the dirt in and we're basically done with our back filling um listen to that all right cool so i'm venting the whole water line right now so that i don't get splashed in the face when i go to to disconnect this pipe and and reclamp it hopefully i'm thinking that since i ran out of one inch clamps and had some three quarters on hand i loosened them enough they seemed like they fit but maybe they didn't i'm thinking that's the cause of the leak even though i got two clamps they might be too small <laughs> to make a solid watertight connection when I clamp them down. Um, but we'll see, I'm gonna dig this out. It's a bit wet right now, so if I get too muddy, I'll just probably save it for later, go pick up some rocks and get back to it in a little bit. So I'm gonna dig it out, let's do it. scoop out the mud dig it out a little bit and um, see if I can get down and find where this leak is happening we've got to dig out enough going down the line to be able to lift the pipe up so that I can get to the bottom of the fitting clean the fitting and reattach it Right now, pretty much there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up and get it on a rock or a piece of wood back here so that I can prop it up out of the mud. Okay. 
while I got my hand muddy, I'm gonna go ahead and scoop out a bunch more of this. So once I clean up, I'm not working in it. I'm gonna have to. I think I see it here. Loosen this one up a little bit more. We've got a big divot in the pipe. Maybe I went too close to the edge with that second clamp. I can't really tell from here. But I'm gonna cut that section out, clean it off, replace the hose clamps with some ones that I know are the right size, and then test it again. crushed that fitting. Might need to use a little bit of water or some cooler ice on that little sock rag to wet the pipe and clean some of this stuff before I fix this. Oh yeah. Sock rag. Do you need a sock for the rag? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That thing right here. Alright, so I'm gonna pull this off. Because we crushed it with the hose clamp. Getting too gung ho. Let's see. You're too, way. You're too strong. Yeah. Do you want me to go get a bottle of water? Um, that would be awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Sometimes that thing can be really hard to get started without it stripping. And then you wanna, a pipe wrench turns in the way that the belly points. That is loosening for me. So I'm gonna pull righty tighty lefty loosey, get that thing off. Place that with a clean one and some new stainless steel hose clamps posing one another on the pipe. I am gonna go ahead and use a thread sealant for plastic pipe. You don't want to use Teflon tape on um, plastic, plastic threaded fittings because it jams up the, the trough in each one of those, the male thread, and then when you go to tighten it on, the plastic is not strong enough to resist like a brass or mat, uh, metal fitting can resist all the force. So it'll crack a plastic fitting pretty easily. So I'm gonna dope up the male threads. And typically I always do the females first because I can set them down on the ground and I get a bunch of dirt in there while I'm doping up the male threads of the, the mating piece. Do you want me to clean these ones? Yes, please. So I'm going to screw this to hand tight and then one to two turns maximum with plastic fittings. That's really important because it will crack if you're not careful. Does it need to be dry? Is that when you attach it or does it matter? Uh, it doesn't need to be dry. Okay. No, <laughs> I tried to. I tried to retighten the clamps that I loosened and I'd gotten mud and like, I guess a rock in there and I just oh. physically couldn't tighten it back. But yeah, yeah check, uh, check this out, Woody. Bent that fitting, just over tightening the, wow. the clamp. Thank you. Is that where it was leaking? Um, you know, did you ever I didn't even test out? it. I'm just going to replace okay. this now and the yeah. hose clamps and then yeah. Yeah. see if yeah, we all I, could yeah, turn you, it on and we could look at it. Exactly. I'm hoping that was it. I thought it was just the clamps at first, and then I saw that, and I was like, oh, this is probably yeah. the root of the problem. Exactly. 
I'm gonna use a map gas torch to gently heat up the pipe. Try not to get these fittings too muddy. Just to make that barb fitting go in a little bit easier. Trying to keep that flame moving so it doesn't overheat and melt the pipe. Just soften it up enough. Does it get the clamps super hot? So that you have to be careful? It can, yeah. Right, so I'm pushing, there we go. And I think that'll be right where we need it to be. So here, there's that one. I get that about an a 16th inch away from the edge of the pipe and then about an eighth inch of space between here the two clamps mm. so i'm not gonna over tighten it because that may have been the problem last time um but i am getting it as tight as i can i don't want to use an impact driver on these because that could certainly crush the fitting but i'm just getting these you know hand tight plus uh, a half a turn. turn the valve on in a second? Yeah, that would be great. And you got the hose, right? All right, here we go. I'm not seeing any leaks right now. Although, let's wait till it's charged up to determine that. All right, I think we're leak free. All right. Yeah. Thank you. And I can wash my hands. Man, the benefits of water. All right, I think we got a leak free system. What do you think? Oh, yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. We have water out to this entire place now. Yeah. And now we can rotationally graze cattle on this entire 14 acres. They got a lot to eat. Yeah. How, so how fast do you think you'll move them through here? Is it, how many pastures is this? I mean, I think since the grass is so like, homogenous and tall, I'm gonna try to do it like slowly and get them to get it from, like far down mm -hmm. so that we can like see them over. So longer than you would normally. I get, yeah, and it, you just kind of change. How many pastures could this be? Like, how many days? I think it'll be like a month, pretty much. A month? Yeah. Cool. It's like that part's a month in this person. Right. You got all the weight on that tire now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're picking up rocks. Woody's got a whole load in the gator right now. And let's turn this water off. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I just kind of, you know, hand, barely hand tightened this one to get it to vent, right? And I forgot that. And so it was dripping when I went to plug it in, but I had to plug it in to really get the water up here. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Otherwise, it's just, oh, it's just air like, hammering. Yeah. Um, but then that was dripping. So I was like, uh, is there really a leak or not? What's going on? But there's no leak. I mean, it's, it's not dripping at all. And the water that's in there was in there before. Yeah, I just I just leave it open for a while. And... Mm -hmm. Yep, we're just gonna leave this for a little while. No need to backfill it yet. See what happens over the day. Sunshine. Yeah. Cool. I'm just straight up and down, and then the fitting coupler is, yeah, look at that, right in the middle. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well played. <laughs> and that is that. A pretty simple fix. I wanted to show you how, in case you do have a leak, you would fix it, find it, test it, and, and actually clamp the pipe together um, so that you get solid connections. So, I hope this was helpful. If so, smash that like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel because we got a whole lot more of this coming on how to build a sustainable homestead off the grid. 
thanks for watching. Until the next one, y'all. Peace out. <laughs>